question goes to Speaker Tillis. In April, the U.S. Senate voted against moving forward with the bill that would have gradually increased the federal minimum wage to $10.10 an hour. Since then, some states have taken matters into their own hands and raised the minimum wage. Right now, North Carolina's minimum wage is at the same as the federal wage, $7.25 an hour. Is that enough for the workers of North Carolina? Well, you said something that's very important. Other states have taken action, and this is something that I believe is best left to the states versus another regulatory overreach, which Kay Hagan is very satisfied to do. She's done it with Obamacare. She's done it by supporting the EPA regulations. It's going to add $1,200 a year in, in, in related costs because of energy prices going up. You know, I talked to a, a business owner just two weeks ago, last week actually, in Western North Carolina, and he said that if, if we're not careful between the regulatory overreach and these other burdens being placed on small businesses, he's going to go out of business. He's a business that right now has only made a profit two months out of the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. These things, we need to understand the job killing consequences of these sorts of policies. That it is not something that Kay Hagan going to Washington should agree with Washington politicians mm -hmm. about how we actually deal with that issue in North Carolina. I trust the citizens in North Carolina and the businesses to make that decision. Mr. Speaker, just to follow up on the question, is $7.25 enough? Well, you know what? If Kay Hagan has her way and the cost of health care goes up 11 percent, and if Kay Hagan has her way and the EPA increases uh, energy costs by $1,200 a year, and if Kay Hagan has her way and allow these other regulatory burdens, that not only would that be enough, but 10 or 20 or 30 or 50 percent wouldn't be enough. The costs are going up. And, and the problem with this is we're creating this mindset that we have a minimum wage economy. I mean, that most people are going to be on minimum wage. I want to create an economy where minimum wage is a very brief stepping stone to higher paying jobs so people can realize their dreams. Senator Hagan, same question to you about is $7.25 is seven an hour enough for workers in North Carolina? You know, I support increasing the minimum wage, which Speaker Tillis had a really hard time trying to defend that he doesn't. Um, you know, jobs and making the economy work for everyone, especially the middle class, is my number one priority. And I do support increasing the minimum wage. Speaker Tillis said doing that is a dangerous idea. And, these are his words again, we shouldn't even have a federal minimum wage. He said that workers in Western North Carolina shouldn't earn the same federal minimum wage as workers in Boston. Once again, you know, that's what he said. And, you know, I think the best way to grow the economy and to, and to have good jobs is a good education, is a sound education. And look again at what Speaker Tillis has done in our great state of North Carolina. He has given tax cuts to the wealthy and he is paying for it by gutting education. $500 million from our education system. And teachers, as I said, are leaving in droves. Speaker Tillis has the wrong priorities for jobs and the economy. Speaker Tillis. You know, I, uh, I grew up and I've, I worked for minimum wage for several years. What I want from government is for it to get out of my way so I can realize my dreams. What Kay Hagan wants from government is to give you or, or to provide you this sense that there's nothing more than minimum wage. Who in this country, what leader would settle for an economy that's based on the minimum wage? It's a stepping stone that through education and hard work you should get past very quickly. Senator Hagan doesn't understand though that the ultimate decision about the minimum wage in this state needs to rest in this state. Don't turn your back on the state, Kay. Let the folks down here decide what's right for North Carolina. Senator Hagan, a reply? Well, obviously, Speaker Tillis hasn't done anything in this regard, so obviously he's okay with the $7.25 minimum wage. But once again, I talk to business leaders all the time, and they are concerned about jobs in North Carolina because of what Speaker Tillis has done to our education system. Uh, they're worried about teachers not being paid. They're worried about teachers leaving. They're worried about uh, students not coming into the College of Education system where they can be, be educated to become teachers. The most important thing for business and the economy is a sound education. And Speaker Tillis is taking us back.